to this. We, we, for instance, I testified on Friday at the Committee of the Whole on the budget and on our tax structure, which still uh, favors the top 5%, where millionaires pay a, a really a comparable rate to the poorest people, and the biggest weight of taxes in terms of fraction of income is uh, the uh, families earning uh, fifty to sixty thousand dollars. So this is the this represents the challenge that we must address. Now, I I pledge when I'm elected to do the following: uh, not only uh, help organize a broad front locally, so we have town meetings and really energize the movement and relate it to these issues of economic and social and environmental justice, but nationally we need a 50 states strategy. We need to encourage and help, and I will do this in partnership with Senator Michael Brown. Uh, we have very good relations and we think alike on many questions, and we're going to cooperate. Uh, we, I'm looking forward to creating Arkansas for D.C. statehood and California, every state, should have a grassroots committee that's agitating. Mm -hmm. uh, now, also internationally, well, the, the Green Party of the United States is part of Global Greens. There are Green Parties all over the world. And not only Green Parties, other progressive parties were who should be brought into an international front for D.C. statehood, uh, uh, recognizing the fact that our our capital of our nation is the only uh, capital in the world where the citizens don't have the same rights as everyone else. Exactly. Let's just talk about some of the, the practical logistics in advance. How are you connecting with people here in Washington, D.C. now? Are, you know, uh, how is it that, um, how are people responding uh, to your message about income inequality here in the the nation's and capital. I get it. Uh, people have seen me, me on cable TV testifying generally compliment me for my message and that's very gratifying especially from the low-income community. I see though that there is a broad a section of the electorate who can be one to supporting our human rights uh, uh, agenda. And this not only includes low-income folk, this includes professional folk. This includes the gentrifiers who are moving in, many of them young people. Uh, yes, they're taking advantage of the uh, process of gentrification, which indeed has driven out long-term residents, mainly uh, African Americans. But at the same time, they have to face a, a choice. Are you going to be part of the solution or be part of the problem? And many of them end up uh, living in uh, doubling and tripling up in an apartment. And many of them are progressive minded. And I don't write off anyone, even the top 1%. Uh, people can be one to this struggle. I don't personalize the struggle. It's a struggle really for human rights.